Hi and welcome to another Techie Unboxing and Review. My name is George and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an unboxing and a review of the Haya HD90 A636. This is the very first one that's been done in English. This product isn't that that old, so it brings me pleasure to bring this uh, to you. Now, before you consider buying this, okay, which I got from AO.com, uh, the original price most places sell it for is £550. I got it for £70 less um, at this time I'm recording. So if you want to know how I did it, then uh, please drop me uh, a line. Now, before you consider buying this, two very important things you need to consider. First of all, one, the size of this. Can it get through your door? So it weighs uh, just over 55 and a half kilograms. And if you're thinking of putting this in your car to transport, it is... It is 89 centimetres high by 66 centimetres wide and around 70 centimetres, 70 centimetres deep. Okay, so without further ado, let's, let's get on. Okay, so it's very well, very well packed. Okay, I haven't thought about this in advance. How do I get it out? <laughs> it's not quite as simple as lifting it up and taking it out. So give me a moment, I'll come back to you. Okay, so this is going to go in that hole there, that section there. So I put it into place. I've just worked out, it's it as simple as it is, how you take it out. You just lift it up. Ta-da! Okay. You know, don't like you, but this is really pleasing. My wife loves this part. Take off the plastic. Ooh. See, got a beautiful flush mount, and the door is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. It's really well made. And now, I was told it comes with its own tube where you can plug it into your uh, existing plumbing. That way it saves you from emptying this all the time. But as yet, aha, there we are. This was one of the reasons why we bought this model as well as the Wi-Fi. Because it allows us to 
put this into the back and put it to our existing plumbing as mentioned without the need of taking this out every time and emptying the emptying the water. So that percentage might be available to you. Most manufacturers do not provide this, so that's an extra 10, 10, 15 quid easily saved uh, from, from this. Uh, <clears throat> right, okay, so we'll pause there. So here we are, it's nicely installed. I was quite surprised with how how light it it is um, to put in. So just plugged it plugged it in and away. So that's it. So as you can see, it looks lovely, really nice. It displays pretty beautifully next to my Samsung uh, uh, washing machine. I said our, including the wife's uh, washing machine. Now, one of the reasons why we bought this, yes, it is much more expensive than your normal dryer. And the reasons why we bought it, not just because it's condenser, but because of the heat pump technology, which I'll explain in a moment. But the main feature with the heat pump technology is that the amount of money it will save you, which we'll come on to uh, at the moment. So, uh, so all you've got to do is just press the button to turn it on, and it has a lovely digital display. And you just simply turn the knob to whatever function that you need. Okay, and you just press press the start, start button. Simple as that. And then you've got other functions on there which we'll come on to in, 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 a, in a moment. So what are the reasons what made me buy this tumble, uh, tumble dryer? As I said, the, the main one is the heat pump, uh, which has, well, this one has an energy rating of A, plus plus the highest you can get is a plus 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 um but those double dryers like your samsung's uh your delfs um and, and quite a few others uh aeg for example you normally look at six seven eight hundred pounds plus uh, but didn't really want to go to that much but anyhow Moving on, so the reason is is that this is very very energy efficiency. So how how how, how is that assessed? Well, that's it. This one here. So very importantly, take note of the kilowatt hour per annum. Okay. So what does that actually mean in pounds, shillings, and and pence? This is a way for you to compare one um, electronic device like a tumble dryer to another. In other words, how much, how much do you compare if they will run the same way, how much uh, kilowatt per hour would they use? And, and here, is the, here is the terminology in terms of comparing. Based on 160 drying cycles of the standard cotton program at full and partial load and the consumption of the low power modes. That's what, it, that's what it actually means. So in pounds, shillings, uh, and in pounds, shillings, and pence, what that actually means, based on 15.4 um, pence uh, per unit, I, per kilowatt hour, um, 236 kilowatts per hour, uh, per, per hour, per year, okay, um, it comes out at 36 pounds, 34. Well, Obviously, we all use the tumble dryer uh, differently, but that's a very, very good uh, indi indicator that it costs thirty-six pounds, thirty-four pounds a year to run this. So that's the that's the way of comparing one tumble dryer to another. Have a look at at those figure. The lower the figure, the more energy efficient you will have. So normally, condenser tumble dryers um, are not without the heat pump are normally B energy rating and they're normally at least double that 
looking at sometimes about 550, 60. So you're looking at quite a substantial saving um, over the year, uh, you know, with that. So that, that's one of the reasons why we bought that. Um, another reason is the audible sound. So this is quite low, quite low in terms of the sound. Although to me personally, it doesn't make a massive amount of difference because I'm in our uh, utility room and the nearest uh, bedroom is quite a way away, but still, there's still somebody above it, but they won't hear it, and that's the main thing. They won't hear it whilst it is it is running. I also like it because it has a child lock, uh, child lock on there, and I'll show you in a moment how you, how you set that. My grandson, oh my goodness, he loves to open and close things and, you know, so that child lock is extremely, extremely important. Uh, another feature which I like, although it's not essential, is that it has a light on the inside. Um, although, whether you have it or not, it doesn't matter. But I think it's, it's a, I think it's a nice touch. And as you can see, it went off after a while. So that's, that's a nice feature. I, I like that. Um, there's also a delay timer, so I'll come to that in a moment. So therefore, if for example, if you, your electricity supplier gives you cheaper electricity, for example, at night, then this is really, really good, where you can set the timer to delay the start. So you're going to bed at seven o'clock at night and your cheapest uh, rate starts at 10 p.m. for example, then you set it for say three, four hours delay. Or maybe another example. So for example, um, the good lady chucks her things in there and she says, right, okay, when you finish your bath, okay, uh, or whatever, just chuck her, just when it finishes, just take it out, put it inside the dryer, don't need to do anything, it will start itself. So that's one way you could use the delay uh, function. Now, the maximum length of time you can delay is 19 hours. Some have up to 24 hours. Why you would use 24 hours, I don't really know. But anyhow, 19 hours is more than efficient for your average person. Uh, the dry load, this is nine kilograms, so it matches the uh, washing machine. So that's a nice, nice size uh, load that it will take. Um, now, even though the manufacturers and the other suppliers uh, said, I've got this from AO.com, says that it's not a large porthole, to me, I think that is, that's a decent size. So it's not small, it's not extra large, but it's, to me, it's large enough and it's absolute, absolutely fine. Especially when we open up the washing machine, we take it out from here and put it in here, okay? Um, okay, uh, uh, number of drying programs, there are 16. I'll give you quite a few of the ones that I, I, I think are really, really good, handy. Cotton program, you've got a cupboard dry, you've got iron dry, you've got mixed dry, you've got normal dry, you've got quick dry, very important, really important. Now, heat pump tumble dries are notorious for being taking much longer than your regular um, condenser tumble dryers, sometimes up to about 50% more time, even though it's it cheaper overall. Um, so having this function of quick dry, very important, very important, because the average time, I suppose, when you put it on, let's give for example, so let's put this on, turn it on, and let's put it on uh, synthetics, Let's put it on extra dry. Uh, uh, extra dry, and it comes out at uh, two, it's two hours, okay? Um, so if you wanted it uh, quicker, okay, then you need to put it on the quick dry function, which I'll, I'll show you uh, in, in a moment. So also has sports program. So the sports program, uh, for example, my son, 
uh, does a lot of training, goes to the track. Um, uh, his clothes are, are, are delicate. So I've got a lot of delicate sports clothes as well. Uh, particularly I've got a lot of Adidas tops. So the sports program works really well with that. Uh, synthetics, it handles synthetics as well. Um, uh, also, it has a reverse action. So what's the significance of reverse action? So with a reverse action, as well as obviously it goes that way, it goes anti-clockwise as well. And the significance of that is that, you know, ladies' problems, sometimes you, you take the clothes out and they're all tangled up. Uh, also, for example, you, <laughs> uh, for, for example, um, uh, duvet covers, uh, you know, you're always finding clothes inside. So with reverse action, it helps prevent that. And the drying program, the drying comes out a lot better. Um, sensor drive, sensor drive, beautiful, love that. With the sensor drive, what happens is when you put your clothes in, it senses and knows, uh, obviously, the weight of the clothes as well as much how much water, and it detects how much time is needed in order to dry the clothes based on your program, whether it's iron dry, cupboard dry, or whatever dry function that you set. Uh, it also has... It tells you how much to the end of the program, i.e., um, how much time you've got left, uh, which is a nice, which is, which is a nice function. Although most tumble dryers do come with it, but I think that's quite important. It also comes with a dryer rack. Yep, what's a dryer rack? So that's this, this here. So you put your trainers. Uh, shoes and other things inside it and it hooks onto here let's put that in first that's it so it goes in there it stays where it is and um, as the tumble dryer goes around so that's how it heats it so I like that that's a, that's a nice touch and that comes with the actual tumble dryer itself also comes with a two year not 20 not one year but a two year manufacturer's warranty which is good for peace of mind even though my previous tumble dryer which i did spend a, a good few pennies on it uh bosch it lasted a good uh, 18 years so I, I i thought we got good value for money for that and i'm expecting no less uh, uh, uh with this but for peace of mind Two-year manufacturer's warranty is, is, is really, really uh, good. So those are the reasons why I chose this. My wife and I, we chose this tumble dryer. So how about some reasons that I'm disappointed with? One, it has no Wi-Fi. So what does that mean? Well, with many other tumble dryers, it has Wi-Fi built in, which means that you could check on your mobile phone, wherever you are, how long you got left to the end of the of the program. So you, if you're upstairs, you're idling, or you, you're doing things, and you click on the app and you see it's got 10 minutes left, then you can go to the tumble dry 10 minutes and know when it's going to end. So that's a bit disappointed at uh, that, but not enough another reason for me not to buy it. It, it doesn't have anti-crease program. Uh, also, it doesn't have a wool program, which is very disappointed, very disappointed. Um, although I suppose, you normally you wouldn't put wool inside wool uh, clothing inside a tumble dry because it, it shrinks you hang it up normally uh but if you had a wool program you could actually use that how cool is that but it doesn't um and also it's not a big deal for me but it doesn't have a reversible door so what does that mean so this opens from the left to right and that that works really well with us because our tumble dryer is on the left we just take it out and put it inside here but for those of you where you need the door to open from the right to the left that that's quite might be quite important to you so so check that out and make sure you get uh it it it's fine that it opens this way because you're not able to reverse the door so if you don't buy this you do buy a a, a different tumble dryer then be aware uh, of that. So let's have a look at the functions. 
Okay, um, even though it looks like it's flickering, it is actually not. The reason why it flickers is because of the video, right? <clears throat> is not, it doesn't match the rate of the digital. So this is going at 60, 60 hertz. So this may be maybe 100 hertz or 120. So that's why it looks like it's flickering, but it's not flickering. So don't be put off by this. There, there isn't a there isn't a, a fault if it looks like all these signals are flashing. It isn't. So uh, you put it on, for example, um, the extra dry function. For example, it shows two hours. Once the, it once you press start then uh, it will it will be updated as it goes along now you've got the temperature button here okay and the temperature button allows you to set the temperature uh, function so so what does that actually what does that actually mean then so quite simply um, the top one is uh, high temperature middle temp bottom one is uh, low temperature middle temperature, again, high temperature. So the higher the, the temperature, uh, as simply means it closed uh, dry, uh, dry quicker, or depending on the clothes that you got in there, the sensitivity of the clothing. Now, the dry level, you can't change the dry level because it's not available on synthetic extra dry. So for example, if I was to put that on to shirt, then as you can see, um, the dry level uh, comes up. And um, the top one is extra dry. Bottom one is ready to iron. Middle one is ready to store. So you just play around with those functions as to you know which one suits you best depending on what you are doing. So um, how do you set the timer? Quite simply, very simple. This button here is the delay. You press that and it goes up in hourly increments. Okay, and then once you press start, then in eight hours time, for example here, it will start. And then if you wanted to cancel it, you either turn it off, turn it back on again, it cancels, or if you're in the middle of it, didn't want to do that, you go all the way round to the program, and then it, it comes off. The child lock, you keep your finger on temp, and delay for three seconds, but it only works. It only works when the tumble dryer starts. So for example, let's 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 get it to start now. So for example, let's start now. And then we put it on temp and delay for three seconds. And there you see. Child lock comes on. Okay, to turn it off. Take it off. Do the opposite, keep your finger off for three seconds. And then it comes, and then it comes, that comes off. So those are the basic functions that I like. Um, some other ones, let's stop that. Some of the ones that I didn't mention in terms of the programs as baby garment, underwear, underwear. <laughs> I don't know who would put just underwear inside there, but there you go. Uh, there's bedding as well, very important. I like that. You know how many times we put the bedding inside here and this is ideal what's the estimated time two hours okay again estimates two hours but once everything goes in there it get, it updates it with the sensor level uh towels as well i like that towels very good and you can set the temperature level as well and also the dry level so that function those functions are 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 available uh, on that Okay, so what does time and memo do? Yes, so if for example, yeah, I like that. So for example, you wanted, to, you wanted it to stay in there a bit longer, okay. So you press the time button, or it's not available on this function. Let's try and, uh, let's try shirts. Nope. Oh, well, turn it off first. Right, okay, so, nope. Ah, oh, there you go. So there you go, see, so, no, not delay. <laughs> but 
we'll get there in the end. Right, so this time button, if you wanted the table drawer to stay on a bit longer on your selected programs, you press this and then it will it will add to it. So um, I haven't found a function yet to which it works, but let's see if you need to start it. So press start. Nope, doesn't work that way. <laughs> uh, but that's what the time function is for. It adds or subtracts time from your from your drawing. And that's about it. So, uh, so in so in part two, I will give you real world test, a real world test on how it performs. So that's the end of part one. Thank you very much.